what is going on traders today we are going to be taking a look at bitcoin the godfather the landlord of all the cryptocurrencies in this space and uh, i think it's quite necessary to take a look at it even though uh, the dominance is headed down and the prices are also headed down at the same which means that all coins have um, kind of uh, more relative strength in the market in terms of uh, bitcoin comparative ratios but it's i think it's important to take a look at how the market mover is doing these days so we do have follow through um, in terms of uh, the bearish candles that we were that we have been printing for the past two weeks in fact and in fact most of the stories they do lie in the small time frames uh, like the daily well daily is not exactly a small time frame so what can you actually see here um i was actually talking about this in the previous bitcoin update video that we have rejected the 21 simple moving average with i think utmost conviction here right here with the bearish engulf and well so far we have well this was an attempt for a retest of the 21 uh, simple moving average here but uh, we did make this <laughs> the, this rejection candle right here a spinning top um not even not even close to the 21 moving average we were like 2% off of the two uh, of the 21 moving average um falling shy of the retest here and now if you look closely um the moving average has kind of started sloping towards the downside so um in the immediate term signaling for a more consolidation uh, period consolidation to sideways periods um not really pointing towards a fomo breakout to the upside uh, so basically this gives you apparently more time uh, to probably reaccumulate bitcoin on these levels um uh, well uh, i think the weekly 21 as actually at 20000 right here actually i'm taking a look at uh, btc usdt on binance i think we could we head on to bitfinex and the moving average would be well apparently the moving average on bitfinex is also here so well i think i was deluded in my own illusions and thinking that the moving average is going to go up to $1000 at least to 22k um when we started uh, this candle but it seems to me like the 21 weekly moving average the uh, area of significance is finally is finally above the all time high well this is supposed to be a bull market trend line um coming from the previous bull run uh, we did see that uh, you do come back to the 21 simple moving average and you get reaccumulated in these zones and then you eventually try to make your move to the upside but as you can see how how close these retests were all across the um yeah, bull run i mean this is how typically bitcoin behaves across the 21 weekly moving average it comes back uh, retests it uh, formula formula it's a base and gets reaccumulated then the heads up ultimately so finally we do have the weekly moving average above the all time high which is kind of like a good news at least in the medium term uh going on to the daily right off uh, just let me just simply shut off all the moving averages and take a look at this diagonal trending resistance here so i think you can argue that we had the retest of this uh, diagonal trending resistance and for the time being we kind of rejected it um again uh, not signaling an immediate fomo to the upside just consolidating on these levels getting back into the 12 hour time frame there was one more thing which is which i was actually discussing on my previous videos was that uh, you have this particular zone right here as the key area of interest let me just demarcate it uh, demarcated by a horizontal line here which comes across of course 30000 30k 30k seems to me like a very important um, area of interest as, as of uh, the price trending behavior right now and looks to me like we're going to be heading back here and try to test it, try to test this thing as a support and maybe it can hold up and finally we can think of maybe closing some candles above the 21 simple on the 12 hour at least well uh, i think by this time if you have been trading these markets you know how small term time frames they extrapolate into long term time frames and then the trend reverses so everything takes it, uh, its time um, especially after we have had it we have had a thousand percent run to the upside so we are certainly getting into a consolidation and bitcoin is kind of uh, breathing breathing finally that's that's what it is doing actually volatility is down and uh, well i didn't i i was actually going to take a look at the stochastic indicators on the weekly right here so as you can see the weekly torch is kind of um, wanting to dive down but 
going to be coming up to a very significant support around 63 60 zones well the bull control zone for the stochastics so uh, we could definitely be looking at the retest of uh, the stochastic momentum oscillations uh, so keep keep an eye on this in fact these are the factory settings for the stoch it is not the stochastic rsi it is just the stoch so you could have a retest here uh, which could be aligning with well the 21 moving average is quite quite far off could be aligning with um, these lower wicks right here and um, could get reaccumulated and then we can talk about further move to the upside for the time being literally all the time frames are screaming for further consolidation and a lot of chop i was talking about all of these things um, literally a week ago that we are going to be having massive amount of chops in these regions so if you are looking to intraday trade this right now and uh, probably get some good gains out of it yeah this is the time this is the time to trade the ranges this is the time to take things step by step and actually take profits as well um and maybe if you want to be looking at um, accumulating positions for the long term of course you're going to be looking at key areas of interests to the downside those areas are like these um first one at 27 20 27500 the second one at 24000 and one I think it's just a consolidation picture it's just uh, it's just yeah it's just also we can we can take a look at these uh, important level for the triangular breakout or the breakdown if you are breaking down and if you are breaking up the apex is going to be coming around um 30th 31st jan uh and the price action could squeeze quite a bit to that point where you would want to be taken in an action depending on which direction finally the asset is trying to head to so i think a uh, little more patience in terms of bitcoin is required uh if you are actually looking this one to moon back again and get back to 50k maybe further high and well your point of action is going to be somewhere around the last days of january i think you got to be keeping a close eye on those dates for bitcoin i think it's going to be yeah it's 30 to 31st jan that's we can actually that's when we can actually talk about a breakout if we break up from this squeeze we go towards 43 44k uh, ultimately taking this high right here if we break down we go towards 20k which is i think aligning with the weekly moving average the 21 yeah to the t it's quite uh, it's quite uh, it's quite uh, i i don't think that's we that we just going to come down just flush off all the gains which have been made um during these two months and just simply come back down no it's, it's, it, i think it's going to take its time and probably we could head sideways by the time this moving average catches up and comes to around 24 25 you got to take things step by step it's not uh, it's not that uh, it's, it's, it's not going to be moon one day and doom the other day no it's not going to be like that so I think that's pretty much about it for the Bitcoin update the Bitcoin analysis right here the picture is pretty clear we are in a squeeze we are below the 21 simple moving average it signals for consolidation um or sideways i do not think we are mooning or i do not think that we are going to doom tomorrow or something like that just being patient uh, is going to be the key and as i discussed our key dates of interest are going to be around uh, the last few days of january that's when you got to be really paying attention to the price action and i i think you could you could simply argue here that uh, we want a higher term closure above the 21 moving average at least on the 12 hour time frame until you're not seeing any candle close above 34 30 34500 zones a 12 hour above 34 it's 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 just it's sideways it's simply sideways consolidation which brings me to a key area of interest which is exactly at 34500 zones. Uh we can see a lot of price action here 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 and then we just rejected this point here. So keep an keep an eye keep an eye. It's it's okay. Uh of course if the selling gets really overpowered and uh, and like you only have sellers in the market left then we could break down before the apex comes. Uh we could certainly break down or break up. Uh but for the time being I think it's I would I would say it's a little bearish to sideways. uh in the extremely small time frame it's not that uh, price action is not that bullish right now it's just uh, just to be honest uh, we have distribution coming from here from here from here and again yet another from here so 
I think Bitcoin really needs to maintain this low right here above 30,000. If you're breaking below 30,000 and closing 12 hour candles below it, it's not gonna look really nice. In fact, you could head down all the way to 20,000, but that's, that's, and that's again far fetched. It's gonna take a while. Things take their time to actually reach. We're gonna take step by step. We're gonna take levels step by step. So the first level for breakdown is gonna be around 27,500 zones. Then we can talk about 24,000, 20,000 eventually. Until the time being, we could be ranging here with a lot of chop. And as you can see, the volume is also, you can just see the volume trend right here. The volume is also not uh, really in an expansive stage. It's contracting, the volume is contracting, which means the volatility is contracting as well. I'm sorry to break this down to you, but no moon, or no doom for at least some more time. Uh, you could be focusing on altcoins, it looks like. Uh, especially the Satoshi pairings. And I think there are gonna be uh, a few videos dropping tomorrow and the day after tomorrow discussing a few key altcoins, the major players in the market. It's gonna be DOT, LINK, Ethereum, and uh, maybe some other few Litecoins as well. Litecoin not really doing nice these days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be taking a little light Litecoin and Ethereum on the next video. For the time being, I hope this was uh, useful. Well, I, I did not really useful analysis. I would say it's just sideways. This, this is just a sideways range here. Um, Got to be patient. Got to be patient. That is what I would conclude with for this entire video right here. Anyway, that's been it. Um, I hope to catch you guys on the next one pretty soon. Bye for now.